So it's your girl, and it's Real Talk Wednesday. Y'all already know. So it is Monday, actually, but you know it's Real Talk Wednesday, and got to start off the Real Talk with a glass of wine. So if you guys are ready for Real Talk, let's get into this. Y'all know a lot of times I do like to share my week with you guys. Got my nails redone today, repainted, and I let one of the ladies in the salon pick them out. One of the customers, you know, I'm a customer too, so we used to sit in there chit-chatting, and I let her pick out my nail color. She said she thought this color looked nice, and I like it, because I wasn't going for something really bright, but this color is really nice. I like this. I like it. So, yes, I really do like this color. And got my little um, headband wig on today by Beau Fawkes. You know, I like Beau Fawkes. It's an Amazon headband wig. I've been rocking it for like a month now cheap affordable girl don't let it fool you it could cost three hundred dollars a headband wig what makes you think it's going to be better than the hundred dollar headband wig and i'm recording again with my phone not the not the new phone the new phone is right here this is the um the old phone remember i did tell you guys last week i have two of the six plus um phones one of them has a better lens than the other one so i'm recording with that one and I like the I like the output of it, so I'm gonna record with that. Even though I could have just used my Canon, um, I didn't feel like doing all that anyway. So it's Monday, and what I did today was I did go and get my nails done, and then I got to go back to the weight loss doctor. Now remember, you guys, I was telling you guys that um, I wasn't able to do the weight loss doctor because my blood pressure was really high, and I had to go get blood pressure medication. And it turned out to be that I was taking these keto pills that were full of sodium. Girl, look, a bitch was happy today because I was a candidate for the weight loss doctor once again. I had to go back to the weight loss doctor. Let me tell you. Yesterday when I got on the scale, that shit said 223 pounds. Not cool. Not cool. Like, I already was trying to stay under 220, but, you know, it said 223, and I have been trying everything to just lose this weight on my own, and I'm, I'm going to be the first to admit to you guys, I'm not that great when it comes to eating habits. Like, I don't eat a bunch of junk food. I don't eat cookies. I don't eat chips. I don't eat cake. I don't eat stuff like that, but I won't eat through the whole entire day. The whole day can go by and I'll decide to eat a meal at like nine o'clock at night. So that's not really healthy at all either. So that's my problem. And I'm really trying like, you know, I got my bike. I've been riding my bike. Another story about the bike. Okay. Now, first of all, y'all know I had to look like literally I had to get back in the groove of things with the damn bike, you know. Let me tell you, when I ride the bike, I just feel like April riding a bike. I don't feel like I'm back in my teen years riding a bike with my friends. I don't feel that shit no more. That, that's been going out the window. But so the other day I was riding my bike and I got halfway through the, the trail that I always take. So, you know, I'm like, damn, I'm riding. You know, I'm like, damn, the sidewalk is awful rough today. This is what I'm saying to myself in my head. I'm like, damn, the sidewalk is awful rough today. This is, this is me. Like, still riding. I'm like, oh, okay, well, whatever. This is what I'm thinking. I'm like, maybe I need a little air or something because the sidewalk is awful rough today. And I had to get off the bike because like I said, I don't see myself like when I was like 12 as a teen riding with my friends. So that means, with that being said, that means that um, when um, a hill come up, when there's a hill, a bitch legs be tired. You know what I'm saying? Which means that I, April, have to get off the damn bike and walk up the hill, okay? Normally, sometimes once in blue, I can get up a hill, but I was really tired. Like I said, the sidewalk felt a little bit harder than normal. So let me tell y'all, I get off this, I get off the bike because it's a little ass hill, but I just get off the bike, okay? 
And as I am walking the bike up the hill, yeah, let's just say I had to walk the bike the rest of the way home. The whole fucking flat tire, was, excuse me, the whole back tire was flat. Like, I really was like, you know what, I'm going to just ride this out. But I was like, hey, well, you can't ride the bike on a flat tire. You messed the rim up just like you would a car. Let me tell y'all, I was tired and hot and pissed off. <laughs> Legs was trembling, and I was walking the bike halfway home, like the rest of the way home. I'm like, wow, no wonder why the sidewalk felt like it was, you know what I'm saying, extra tough. So that was kind of like pissing me off. Um, I had to pump the tire up, and once I pumped the tire up, it just went back flat. And then I was like about to cry. I was about to really cry about that because I like I don't know how to change an inner tube to a bike. Like I just bought this damn bike. Now I'm getting mad. I'm like, oh great, now I'm gonna have to put this bike in my truck and bring it all the way back to Target. And they're gonna fix this tire because I just got this bike. And this was like the fifth time for me riding it. Thank God for my son, Jerron. He fixed the, the the tire for me. He fixed the inner tube. He did all of that. So thank you, Jerron. You're probably not watching this, but thank you. So that was my week with the bike. You know what I'm saying? And then so Saturday, Saturday was June twelfth, and my son's birthday is June twelfth. We're exactly a week apart. And I really had no plans on doing anything on Saturday but just being left alone. I didn't want anybody coming over here. I didn't want anybody bothering me. I just wanted to just be left alone. And I, I guess I wanted to just, like, just be, not even be depressed, but just be left alone. You know, my son, he would have been 23 this June 12th. And I just... I, I, don't, I don't know how I felt about this, this birthday. Like, you know, last birthday for him, we had a party. And this year, I didn't have anything planned. The only thing that I had planned was I was going to make tacos because he loves my tacos. And I felt like I was going to make tacos. All right. I don't use a taco kit, sweethearts. I use, I make real tacos and stuff. And I, um, I did record some of it, but, um, I just really wanted to just be left alone. I was going to make tacos for me and my girls, and I just didn't want to be bothered. And um, my son, Jerron, asked me what I was doing, and I said, I'm going to make tacos. You know, I was a love tacos. He was like, well, I'm coming over with the boys. And then Tati texted me that morning, um, and she just checked on me to see how I was feeling. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to just make tacos. And she said, well, I'm going to make some baked macaroni and cheese because he liked the baked macaroni and cheese. So that Saturday turned out to be a party that was not even planned and unexpected. You know, I made so many tacos. Tati made so much macaroni and cheese. I also ended up making Italian sausage. I bought boxes of wine. We had cases of Corona beer. And Wessel's friends um, showed up. Sharina, my daughter-in-law, her friends from New York was here visiting too. So they was here and it just ended up being a party. Um, I did buy balloons, and then Tati came through with balloons, and then Tati bought ice cream, a big ice cream cake. So, you know, we had it was it was a very unplanned day, and that's how it would have been for my son was. He he never planned anything out. He just he just he just he just was winging it as he went along. But I really didn't. I just didn't want to be bothered with anybody. Um, Wuzzle's other brother, forty, he lives out here too. So he was here with his girlfriend, which is. Um, also was Wuzzle's best friend. So it, it turned out to be a nice day, and I'm glad that it did because the beginning of the morning, um, it was so hard for me. Like, seriously, I I broke down in tears so many times, and I just really, I just didn't want to be bothered with anybody. I just wanted to be left alone. And um, it turned out that it ended up being a really nice day. And um, I just will say this to you guys, you know, you just count your blessings and you just live every day like it's your last day because you really don't know if you or anybody you love and your family is going to make it to see the next day. So, you know, I try I try to, I, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, every day I try to just be a better person. I really don't try to harbor on a negative too much. Like, you know, if you come at me with some bullshit, then I'm definitely going to come back at you. But I just try to think better of people, you know what I'm saying, and not too negative of people. Um, and I do have my days and I do have my moments where I just don't want to be bothered with anybody and, or I'm in a bad mood. You know what I'm saying? Like I have been through a lot within the past, 
um, 18 months, year and a half, two years almost. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Give me a fucking break. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really be needing a break sometimes from all the negative shit. And, like, all the shit that has been done to me in, like, the past months, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm over that shit. Like, with that relationship, I'm, like, over that shit. I don't even care to speak upon it. Like, I mean, I'll speak upon it, but I don't, it don't, it don't even bring me no bad vibes anymore because I'm like over, you know, like when you get over something, you over it, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel. Like I'm definitely over it, over the person, over everything about it. You know what I'm saying? I moved on. I don't even care to be in a relationship with anybody at the moment. Like I'm pretty sure if somebody wanted to be in a relationship with me or take me out to dinner or whatever, I probably look at them like they crazy because I just don't want to be bothered. I just, you know how you just be in your own zone? Like, like, I'm just in my own zone. And I have a lot going on. And I, I could care less about a relationship. I could care less about a man or any of that shit. So I'm, like, really over that old shit, like, that past shit. And, like, you know, like I said last week, you don't backpedal. So we, we don't do that. We don't do that over here. We don't backpedal. You know, we don't go back to the past, sweetheart. We don't. I, I did enjoy Saturday. I did. It was nice. It was very unexpected, but it was nice. And um, so now this Saturday is my birthday. And I'll be 47 years old. And now they're asking me what do I want to do on my birthday. I want to be left the fuck alone. Okay? <laughs> that's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to be done on my birthday. I want to I want to do some videos and be left the fuck alone on my birthday. I don't I don't want anybody bothering me straight up. Like I I don't really care. It's the day before Father's Day. I get to celebrate both because I'm a mother and a father. You know what I'm saying? Single mother. So I I, I just want to be left the fuck alone. That's all. I think like, I gained those three pounds just from my son's birthday alone. Like, you guys know when I say that I gain weight, like, let me tell y'all. I have no neck. Like, my neck gets really short. It's, I already have a short neck. So when I gain weight, it's like, okay, now it's really short. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I lost, I was 223, like, a few years ago. And then I lost all that weight. And now I'm, like, back to square one again. You know what I'm saying? And what's so crazy about it, I lost all that weight just to impress one person. And, you know, it's like, why would you even do that to yourself, April? So now it's like, it's not that I'm trying to impress anybody right now because I don't really give a fuck if you like me for who I am or if you don't like me for who I am, if you don't like my size and I'm, shit, you think I give a fuck? But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I'm doing it for me because I want to be healthy. Like, I be feeling stuff and I don't want to feel stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Though I don't look bad with the 220 pounds, okay? But um, I don't want to be 220 pounds. I just don't want to be that. I had to go back to the weight doctor. I need a little bit boost to help somebody help a bitch out, okay? <sighs> it's it's hard being um, this size for me, especially because I have I've gone through menopause, like you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't. I, I've had a full hysterectomy, so it's like, it's hard for me. I, I need to lose the weight just so I could be comfortable, and I'm not really comfortable with myself. Bitch, because if I was comfortable with myself right now, trust and believe, I, would, I wouldn't give a fuck about this 220. I wouldn't. I damn sure wouldn't. So I've been drinking a lot of water, a lot of water lately. I put my own lemons in there, a lot of water lately, lots of it, because I've been thirsty. If I don't eat during the daytime, at least let me fill up on some fucking water, right? I'm saying... Let's just get into this real talk, all right? So that way I can shut up and y'all can go about your business. But, you know, if you got a real talk, make sure you send me an email. My email information is down below. And on that note, let's go. Huh? 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 What? Damn. 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 All right, you guys, so this one is titled, for me, My Ratchet Bestie. No, this is my, best, my, my Ratchet Best Friend. Hello, Miss April. I want to say thank you so much for bringing Real Talk back. I felt like I was losing my mind and missing out on things during the time without Real Talk. Well, thank you, girl, too. As grown women, as grown people, I would hope and think that we all want to do better. So I just said, just do better, take a bad situation and make the best out of it. So here is my dilemma. I have a friend. She is my best friend and has been for over 23 years now. We are grown women. Like when I say grown, I mean in our 40s. We both have children and are both single mothers. Our children are older, you know, older, like older teens. Anyway, 
I'm trying to figure out for the life of me how to speak to her about her actions, her ways. I'm in no way a hater or jealous of her, but she seems to always have a different man in her bed every couple of months. She doesn't seem to just want more for herself, and the men she has around her children or self are basic bums. Like, no ambition, no car, no job, no place to live. Like, I'm trying to figure out what she sees in any of these men. I mean, wouldn't she want better for herself? She left her previous husband for her selfish and nasty ways. So as her best friend, I'd want nothing but the best for her. I'm also very close with her children, as she is with mine. And they sometimes tell me of the different men that appear in their home. I don't want to say anything to her about it or even bring the kids involved. I've also noticed her change in clothing as well. Almost as if she went through her daughter's closet. You know, that is my best friend, but I also think she needs to dress her appropriate age and also look for the appropriate men. I'm not hating, nor do I want to lose our friendship, but she deserves better. How do I tell her it's time? My voice started crackling. How do I tell her it's time to grow up out of that era and do better? Thank you in advance for your advice. XOXO Roosevelt. And it does say you can call me Roosevelt at the very end. I like that Roosevelt. That's a cute name, Roosevelt. I like that Roosevelt. Don't let me look, don't let me name one of my wigs Roosevelt, because I like that Roosevelt. That's a nice name. Oh, hmm. So basically, we got Roosevelt here who's in her 40s. Ow! Because 40 is the new 20. No, I'm only messing with you guys. 40 is 40. That's what it is. I'm in my 40s, okay? But her and her best friend have been best friends for over 23 years now, and they both are single mothers. They both have children that are older, on um, in Rome. And it seems like her best friend, Roosevelt's best friend, she didn't give her no name, so we're going to call her, um, let's, uh, let's see. Let's call her Lucy, okay? So, Roosevelt's best friend, Lucy. I don't know if I like that name, Lucy. What do y'all think about that, Lucy? We're just going to call her Shaney. I, I think Shaney, Shannon, Shannon. Shannon is a nice name, right? Roosevelt and Shannon, that sounds better. So, Roosevelt's best friend, who she's been best friends with for 23 years now, Shannon, is a single mother in her 40s and also is divorced. Now, also, um, Roosevelt is also a single mother. I don't know if she's divorced or not, but she's a single mother. And they both have children. Didn't say how many, just they both have children. That's plural, girl, okay? Now, here's the thing. Shannon, you know, she a little bit loosey-goosey there. So, Roosevelt is kind of worried about how she's going to tell her friend that she is a ratchet. Because she said, my ratchet best friend. She is a ratchet. She is in her 40s, and it looked like she done went in her daughter's closet and dug up her clothes to wear outside in public, okay? And not only that, but she's got random different dudes up in her house, in her bed, every few months, every couple of months. Her children are saying things to Roosevelt about it, you know, basically complaining what they've seen going on. And these men that she's bringing in the house is basic bums. A basic bum. Is a basic bum the same as a fuckboy? Cause I don't, I don't know. Is is that is it? Cause like, what is a fuck boy? All right, you know, I'm I'm about to be 47. I don't I don't know what a fuck boy is. Is it just like a, a guy you just want to fuck, or is he a bum too? You know, cause um, I, I've been in relationships, so I don't I don't really know what a fuck boy is. But it sounds like something that the young people will use. So is a basic bum the same thing as a fuck boy? The dude ain't got nowhere to live. First of all, she said he ain't got no ambition. He ain't got no job. He ain't got no car. He ain't got nowhere to live. <sighs> That's a homeless man, okay? Not a bum. That's like, he like a hobo and shit. First of all, ladies, let, let's, let's get this straight, okay? If you meet a dude and he ain't got nowhere to live, why would you bring him into your house? If you, you, you know what I'm saying? Why would you want to date him? I know sometimes we got to help the situation out a little bit. We got to, you know, we got, it's always great to help a person out, but that don't mean to make a relationship with it. And I'm sorry, if I met a dude and he didn't have a job, I'm definitely not talking to you. If you didn't have a car, that's not a bad thing always, because if you live, say you live somewhere where you didn't need a car, like you lived in New York City, public transportation, then that's the difference. So a car doesn't really make you a person. It don't make you a better person than the next person if you have a car. But if you ain't got no job, do what you do, how you getting money. And if you still getting money and you ain't got no job, that means you're doing something the wrong way. And I don't really want to fuck with you either. So then they, she said they ain't got nowhere to live. Now, 
when she say they ain't got nowhere to live, does she mean like they live with their mother on their mother couch? Because that's still probably considered like, I would consider that like you a bum ass nigga if you live on your mama couch, okay? I would probably consider you to be a bum ass nigga. So, I mean, like, but if he live with his mama, like, and he in his 40s, yeah, yeah, he's a basic bum. He's a basic bum. Like, you, you, you don't want to get in a relationship with somebody that ain't got shit. Like, I'm not saying you got to be a gold digger, and but, like, girl, what you starting from zero for? Like, you know what I'm saying? So she got basic bum-ass niggas up in the house, up in the crib, sleeping up in the bed and stuff. Like, for one, like, let's ladies. Because I don't give a fuck if the nigga had a job, a house, a cars, a cars, bank accounts. That don't mean you got to give him up the cootie cat. That don't mean he got to be up in your house. You have to feel like you're worthy of so much more than giving up the pussy and getting some of the dick. Like, let me tell you something. I said this last week. Yes, dick is great, I guess. Like, remember the lady? She wanted a dude to blow her back out. And for that, you know, at my age, you, you don't want your back blown out, but whatever. But I'm saying, like... Sometimes sex be so overrated, like, great, five minutes of pleasure. And not saying that it's only five minutes, but you get, I'm just being a little bit sarcastic here, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, I think like a lot of us need to think more and better of ourselves. That's just my, that's just my take on it. Like, I really feel like there are a lot of women out there that just don't really think highly of themselves. And I'm not saying, bitch, you got to be conceited and cocky and think you better than everybody, but at least think you better than a basic bum ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So what? He could blow your back out. So what? He can whine and dine you. Oh, excuse me. He probably can't even whine and dine you if he ain't got no job. But okay. So he got some moves in the bedroom. So fucking what? All right. Who gives a shit about that? Like, I don't give a fuck how fine you are. If you don't have no type of job, no type of ambition and stuff, cuteness don't pay the bills. Like, for some people it do. Like, but that's for models and shit, okay? But if you ain't no model, nigga, that cuteness shit don't pay the bills. And after a while, broke-ass nigga ain't cute no more. Like, seriously, you start to look real motherfucking ugly to me when you ain't got no money in your pocket. Like, I don't think you handsome. I don't think you, I don't think you fine. I don't even give a fuck about your dick game. Like, once you ain't got no money and you a broke-ass motherfucker, you you look really ugly to me. You look hideous to me. Like, seriously. And I know that's probably wrong, but why would I want to take on the challenge of taking care of somebody else, grown-ass son? Let's stop inviting these strange hobo-ass men into our head, into our beds. Like, especially if you got daughters. Like, why would you want to bring some hobo-ass man around your daughters? And even sons, too. Regardless, your children. They are, listen, let me tell y'all this much, okay? Y'all know I be watching... Y'all know I be watching those shows on um, the ID channel, like straight up. People are crazy. Men be crazy. They do, they do some crazy shit to people. You don't even have to watch the ID channel to know that there are men that be killing their girlfriends and their wives on Facebook Live, on Instagram Live. Like they are men out there that do some devilish, evil ass ish okay and like why would you invite that into your home you you like she said random men every couple of months into her bedroom into her home like that's not cool and then on top of that now we dressing like i'm not listening i know i'm 47 years old and i'm not i'm, I'm not saying i gotta dress like the elderly but i think there are some things that are appropriate and there's some things that are not appropriate and that's just me now if you want to be 47 years old and dress like a hoochie teenager then that's your business but but just keep in mind that the people that stare at you are going to be staring at you for a reason, okay? And I don't even think that some some things that even the teenagers wear are appropriate. You know, they like, girl, you need to leave a little bit. To, did, did your mama let you go out the house like that? As a woman, leave a little bit to the imagination. I'm not saying you got to be a prude, but just leave a little bit to imagination because men can be so fresh and so nasty, like straight up. Like, how did she tell her best friend that she's a ratchet and a hoe? She didn't say hoe, but I mean... You act like a hoe if you bring in random dudes up into your house every few couple of months. You know, my bestie, she got five kids, and she been with the same man since the first kid. They was high school sweethearts, all right? And um, sometimes I look at them, and I just like, wow, that's a, they, they have a beautiful family and everything. And so I'm glad that I don't have to tell my best friend that. Girl, you need to stop wearing those two small clothes that look like they belong in your daughter's closet. And you stop stop bringing these men ass men here. Let's not beat around the bush. If it's somebody that you really care about and it's somebody that you love and that's a huge part of your life, a huge staple in your life, like a huge part of your life, girls, don't beat around the bush. If they know how much you care about them and they feel the same way that you feel 
for them as they do for you, then girl, I don't think that there should be a problem. You shouldn't have to come to me and ask me, how do I tell my friend that she's a ratchet and that all these men that she's bringing around her children is not good and that she deserves better. You just said it right there. If I was Shannon and Roosevelt was my friend and she felt that way about me, I would respect her feelings, and I would respect the fact that she said, you know what, Shannon, you a hoe. Not, not in those exact words, but you, you understand what I'm saying. Like, if we real friends, almost damn near like sisters, then honey, honey boo boo child, you shouldn't have to be questioning how to tell your friend that what she's doing is not right to herself, to her children, to her body. Like, men come a dime a dozen, just the same way as females come a dime a dozen, okay? You can go find one in the pond down the street, in the, in the fish market, in the grocery store, in the toy section. You can find you a man or a female, whatever. They come a dime a dozen, sweetheart. No, no, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to figure that part out. But when you start inviting strangers into your home and trying to make them into something that they are not, that's where the problem kick in, okay? Listen, let me tell you something. If you found that nigga as a bum, that nigga is a bum. Let him be a bum and let him build his own self up. I'm not saying that we got to be bitches and we got to be gold diggers, but I'm sorry. If you ain't got no job, you ain't got no car, you ain't got no place to live, no ambition, you a bum ass nigga, there's nothing I can do for you, okay? There's nothing I can do for you. I am not in the market of making a man, building a man up. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Not at this age. You know what I'm saying? If I'm 47 years old, the, the person that, the youngest I would ever date would be 47. Like, I don't even want them, like, underneath me. Like, you can't be under my age group. If you're 43, goodbye. Okay? If you're 44, goodbye. 45, goodbye. 46, goodbye. I would prefer you to be 50, to be honest, because... I know y'all probably like, bitch, that's old. But, like, look, I'm 47. I'm about to be around me all, bitch. I'm 50, okay? And I just feel like this, you older. Maybe you got a little bit more maturity about you, okay? And, and I don't have to try to build you up in one of those aspects, like help you find a car or help you find a bank account. Like, I don't, like, at my age, at her age, too, sweetheart, we shouldn't have to be building a man. This is not the build a bear shop. We should not be building a man, okay? He should already come with his own shit. And if you don't have your own shit at that time, then sweetheart you need to do that shit on your own on your own time now you letting all these weirdos um and that's what i end up calling them weirdos she got her kids reaching out to roosevelt talking about their mama and that's the one thing roosevelt is right don't drag the kids into it because people do get a little bit touchy and emotional when it comes to the children. So me personally, Roosevelt, I definitely wouldn't mention the kids at all in my conversation to Shannon at all. I would just let her know what I've been noticing and what I've seen and let her know, you know, as a female and as your friend and, and so forth, I really feel and I know that you deserve so much better. And like she made it very clear, she is not jealous or a hater. Honey, let me tell you something. There are some women out there that will be so hateful on the one on the next one's relationship. And I really can't see for the life of me why any woman will be jealous of a toxic relationship. Just because you got a man don't mean that you got a man. Okay? So he lays next to you at night. Big motherfucking deal. Oh, so he dicks you down every night or every other night or whenever. Big motherfucking deal. Y'all act like that's the best thing since sliced bread. Like, let me tell you something. If that nigga don't got no job, okay, he ain't got no place to stay, he ain't got no car, and whatever else, you're not dicking nobody down, nigga. You're not even laying in my bed with your dusty ass, okay? Let alone, you're not even gonna have my phone number to be calling or texting me, so... I'm just saying, women, okay, at all ages... You should want more and do better and want more. I'm not saying I'm the best person out there because we all make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm single now, okay? And I like being single, okay? I like being single. Not because I can go and mingle because that's what y'all be single, ready to mingle. No, bitch, because I don't need no aggravation and I don't need to be irritated, okay, and stressed the fuck out by nobody. And I don't have to answer to no motherfucking body. And I don't have to look at nobody's face, okay? I'm not too concerned about being in a relationship and and definitely not with a bum ass nigga. So how would you huh, tell your friend that, you know, she needs to do better? Sweetheart, there's no right or wrong way. Just don't be disrespectful. That's all. You don't have to be disrespectful to her, but you can let her know everything that you're saying is coming from a place right here. Love. 
from the heart, straight up. Like, everybody make a mistake. Everybody, every nobody's perfect, okay? But you ever stop to think, Roosevelt, maybe your friend Shannon, she might just be lonely and she trying to find love. Like, sometimes when you look for love, that shit is not the right type of love. And she might just be lonely. But that don't that don't mean let any type of hobo on the street in, especially around her children. And that's what you should say to her. You don't have to say the children said to me, but what you can say to her is, listen, Shannon, I love you, you my sister. And there are so many different men out here and different weirdos out here, you know. I just feel like you can do better. You deserve better. You know, what I, I want you to do is just take a break for yourself and love yourself. And maybe if you tell her that she needs to love herself more, maybe her clothing will change a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I have I have many different outfits in my closet. And if I don't feel comfortable wearing it, I'm not going to wear it. Like, seriously. Like, I have to feel good in my own skin, first of all, to wear anything anything it doesn't matter what it is and um i just feel like you know i i see many women out and about and some of them might be my age some of them might not and it don't even have to be like seductive or provocative clothing it could just be something like girl you know you could have washed that before you put it on like you know what i'm saying like just like that like okay let's take this for example now I, I, my, my thing is this. I mind my business. That's just me. I always mind my business. And what might be good for you might not be good for me. And that's just it. The whole Monique thing with the bonnets. Now, listen, if you if you in, if you out in public with a bonnet on, that's your business. I don't wear bonnets out in public. And it has nothing to do with because it's a bonnet. It just it has to, I've never worn a bonnet out in public. And I got a long ass head. And I don't think I look cute in bonnets. Okay? Except for doing on a video. You see me wearing a bonnet in a video. And that's it. Because I'm about to put my wig on. But I don't wear bonnets in public. And, and the reason why I don't wear a bonnet in public has nothing to do with what Monique said. It just has the fact that bonnets just don't look good on me. And um, it is what it is. I got a long ass head. So, I mean, you know, if you can rock a cute bonnet in public, then that's your business. But what's good for the goose may not be good for the gander all the time. But the one thing that I really didn't appreciate that she said is she would go up to them and tap them on the shoulder if she, like, sweetheart, and say something to, or approach them and say something to them. That's, this is where I be saying, when keeping it real goes wrong, like, you know what I'm saying? Monique, you can't be tapping people on the shoulder or even approaching people talking about, honey, baby, you shouldn't have that bonnet on because the way the world is today, your ass get cussed the fuck out and you might get attacked. So I think, like, some, some people just need to learn to mind their business. Like, you wearing a bonnet in public is not fucking with me. It's not bothering me none. It's not messing up my day none. It's not fucking up my, my bills getting paid. I don't, I don't give a fuck what you wear in public. Just please don't be naked. Okay, and if you want to come outside naked, then hey, that's your business too. I'm not doing it. So, I mean, like, that part I felt like she was a little bit wrong for talking about she going to tell them to these girls or whoever, like, you know, not to be wearing bonnets. Just because you Monique, bitch, don't mean you can go around telling people that you are not to wear bonnets, okay? Like, you can't do shit like that. If you was Michael Jackson or Prince, you couldn't do that shit. You cannot go up to people and tell them what the fuck they should and should not wear. That's not your place and not your business. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, they said stuff about pajama pants and stuff like that. Like, I don't I don't wear either one in public. Well, I don't have any pajama pants. I just slip in my underwear, so I don't think I want to wear that outside. But... Or slippers. Like, yeah, I'm not wearing my slippers in public because if you walk in my motherfucking house with your dirty ass shoes on my rug, it's a problem. So, yeah, slippers stay inside. And then, you know, my shoes is by the door. So, and as soon as I get in the door, I slip them motherfuckers off and put my slippers on. But, yeah, I don't wear slippers in public only because they call slippers. Like, the grips on the bottom of it is not worth it. But if that's what you want to wear, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? I am not about to tap you on your shoulder and tell you you cannot wear that. That is not my place. But maybe if you talk to your friend and tell her to love herself, maybe her attire will change. Hopefully it will. If she's walking outside with some hoochie mama shit on, then girl, I don't know what to tell you. But I'll tell you what, though. I'd rather her wear a bonnet than some hoochie half-dressed mama shit in public with me any day. Like, listen, I don't really like being embarrassed in public. I don't really like people looking at me in public. And that's not a reason why I don't wear a bonnet. I just 
just don't wear bonnet. When bonnets first came out, for me, they weren't cute. They weren't, they didn't make them look cute. These just fucking black bonnets, nothing special about them. So why the fuck would you want to wear that out in public? Like, I'll wear my head wrap, my head tie. I'll, you know, I tie it up real cute and not no ugly ass way neither. I make it look, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm not wearing bonnets in public just because I just got a long head and they don't look good on me. You know, I don't even, listen, I don't really like to wear a bonnet in the house when I did have a man because that shit wasn't sexy neither. I would wrap my shit up. That would cute cuter. Bonnet. Bonnet don't turn nobody on. I try to turn you on if you if we together. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. But, you know, I think Roosevelt, you should just talk to her. That's your friend, right? And if that's your friend, then she will understand. Ladies, do better. Stop bringing up these, stop bringing these random bum ass niggas in your house. Like, for real. We all been guilty of it. Okay? We all been guilty of bringing random bum ass niggas in the house. But now that we are in our 40s, even our 30s, even our 20s, honey, let's not. And on top of that, these niggas, these men are crazy out here. You see the news. You can watch it on YouTube. You see all these weirdos doing all kinds of things to women. So that's what we need to stop and think about ourselves and our safety. That's what you need to tell your friend. Shannon, tell Roosevelt, tell Shannon. Safety. Safety first. I'm, I'm serious. That's another reason why I don't want to be in a relationship and I don't want to go out on no date and I don't want to meet nobody. I, I think I watch way too many shows on the ID channel that I don't want to date nobody. I'd be scared, like, because you, you watch these shows and they'd be like, oh, he went on a date with me. He seemed real nice. Then he done did something to the girl and then she'll never show back up. She dead. Or he done raped her and stuff like that. Like, I know I might be playing a little, I might be going too much into debt with these shows. Like, you know what I'm saying? But but that really happens. All that stuff happens. So, like, no, nope, girl, I'm good. I'm good. I, 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 mm, mm. I ain't trying to fight nobody off of me. A bitch will be in jail. I don't want to be in jail. I'm too cute to go to jail. They don't got wigs in jail. Okay? If I was to go on a date with some guy and he was to try to attack me or do something to me, I probably, all my frustration and anger, I probably would end up killing this motherfucker. Then what? Here we go. We got muffins on. Muffin is my lovers on trial for beating the man up to death. Like, that's not cool. Then who gonna get the wig tutorials or the real talks? Somebody gonna have to do real talk for me. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies, let's just be very careful and mindful of the motherfuckers that we bring around our family, our children, and into our home. Okay, let's stop giving all these random bum-ass basic bums chances. Okay, if you're a basic bum, you don't deserve... I mean, you might do deserve a chance. But if you are a well-established woman and you have children... Please stop welcoming basic bums into your home. You have children to take care of. Kids is enough. You don't to take care of nobody else's grown ass kid. But I love you guys. I'm gonna go. Let your ratchet ass friends know. No basic bums here. I'm gonna give me a sign. Like a stop sign. No basic bums. I'm gonna put that on my back of my car. I'm gonna tattoo that on the back of my wig. You know what I'm saying? On my phone. When dude asks me for my phone number, I'm, look, I'm gonna just go like this. It's gonna be a sticker right here. No basic bums. Okay? Then it, oh, shit. Yes. All around. No basic bums, honey. No, 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 no. Mm, mm, mm. Not interested. Not interested. Maybe they'll leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. Deuces. Go, 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 go. 